your high fat diet may be doing more harm than good. Today, you will find that a number of people are looking into new diets. Eating clean and healthy is slowly becoming a popular trend everyone wants in on. It isn't just a trend, but a lifestyle change for the better. But what exactly is eating healthy in the first place? While whole foods such as fresh fruits and vegetables are a priority, there are a few other points one must consider as well. It's all about balance and the right amount of essential vitamins and nutrients you need. This is in order for your mind and body to perform to its ultimate ability. What is a high-fat diet? Ketosis is the new diet overweight and obese people are looking into. This is composed of a diet filled with foods of high fat, with as little to no consumption of carbohydrates. They say that the low-carb diet will help reduce the excess water weight and burn the fat off quickly. The food high in fat will also help improve brain health while at a calorie deficit. It helps you keep at a calorie deficit, as a high consumption of fat will help you keep satiated for longer. A usual high-fat diet consists of bullet coffee, where dieters would replace the usual creamer and sugar with oils consisting of healthy fats, such as coconut oil or butter. Protein with fat is a main component of the diet, with fewer fruits and minimal vegetables. Vitamins and supplements are taken in as well for the dieter to still get the right amount of vitamins and nutrients for good health. For men, a testosterone booster is taken to ensure energy while working out, as well as more muscle gain. While many have sworn by its results, is it really a diet to follow in the long run? How a high-fat diet could be harmful to maturing brains. A study was created on this consisting of 23 men and women who weighed 218 pounds on average. They participated a six-month weight loss program that had an appropriate amount of cardio and strength exercises while taking in 30% of carbohydrates and 40% of fats. Another group went on a similar weight loss program, but with 55% of carbs and 30% of fat. The results shows that the low-carb dieters ended up losing more weight in a span of two months as compared to those who consumed more carbohydrates. But when keeping a high-fat diet for a long period of time, you may end up being at risk for cardiovascular diseases. This is because you are lessening your intake of fruits and vegetables for the sake of focusing on foods high in fat. In the end, you may lose the nutrients you need, despite taking in vitamins and supplements. After all, you will need fruits and vegetables not only to keep your body healthy and strong but to avoid any health risk as well. The right intake of whole food will also decrease the risk of cancer and other diseases. Also, lessening your carbs will affect your glycemic index and fiber intake, which can affect your blood circulation and the heart's performance. Taking in a diet high in carbs? Many people automatically assume that a low-fat diet will help you drop the fat immediately. While that's true, it may also affect your health when done longer. A diet low in fat and high in carbs may be disadvantageous, especially in terms of weight loss. When going low fat, your body stores any fat left in the system, which discourages a leaner physique. It can also affect your memory and skin condition because of the fewer healthy oils you are consuming. 